Hey, what's going on everybody? This is uh, MJY Bar from XDA and from AndroidDoes.net. Um, just to let you guys know, if you guys want the latest updates, all that good stuff, go to AndroidDoes.net. That's where the official Mextroid will be at, if you guys haven't noticed or read. Um, so here is a Mextroid uh, remix. So I'm just going to do a little brief overview, kind of show you what's going on. Turn on, you see the honeycomb time or the font. Um, you also see a new battery stat icon, signal icon, the 3G icon and once I uh, hit the browser you'll see it turn to 4G. So that's the magenta 4G icon that is completely custom to Mextroid. Let me get out of here. So this is one of the things that got ported over from the Sony Xperia Arc is uh, the time widget. If you long press, go to widgets. There's another widget too. See, digital clock is going to be one of them. Scroll down. Media shortcuts is another one. And finally, status switch is also another widget from the Sony Xperia Arc. Um, tons of themed theming going on. Um, as you can tell, all this is themed up here. All that is all themed. Done lots of theming. Go to the dialer. So anytime you press, it turns blue or whatever. But uh, this is my favorite thing. Anytime you call somebody, that bad boy pops up. It just looks awesome. Thank you 144 Saint for taking all your time to theme all this for the ROM. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, get out of here. Um, and by the way, all these little icons, obviously they don't match um, what's on the OP. Um, this is just a theme, an ADW theme. Uh, where was I going to go to show you? Oh yeah, Timescape. Sorry, forgive me, I'm a little tired. So this is Timescape. You can kind of go from uh, Twitter to Facebook and back. But, uh, so that was Timescape. Definitely pretty sweet. I love that thing so much. It is really rad. Um, also, go to uh, settings. I'll just show you guys my settings that I have. So those are the only two things I have checked. Is use JIT and lock them in memory. Um, I kind of played around with a lot of purging of assets. So don't know if I've seen any improvement or exactly what that function does. Um, VM heap size is at 32. It's usually at 36 but on uh, Remix it's at 32. And like I said, uh, like I told you guys before, you guys can change that through uh, Dark Tremors apps to SD scripts. And I'll talk about those as well. CPU, I'll show you guys my set CPU as well. So that's my max, that's my min, everything's on demand. Go to profiles. Those are those are my profiles. So you guys can uh use those. Um to be quite honest with you with this uh ROM, I'm not getting like superb, superb battery, but it's lasting me all day, which is good, and I'm a pretty heavy user. Um, by the end of the day, it's about at 30%, so about 10 hours, 11 hours or so, I'm um, I'm about 30%, so it, it's good enough for me. Like, 
as long as it's not dying every two hours, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. But then again, I'm a pretty easy person to satisfy. Um, now we're gonna go. Sh I'm just want to show you guys this real quick. Oh, by the way, network. That's also in the ROM. And what that does is it's a shortcut to go ahead and switch you from CDMA preferred to WCDMA only. Once you click WCDMA only, it's only going to search for 3G and 4G. It won't um, look or search for Edge, also known as 2G. So it's pretty nifty, especially if you're in the 4G area. Use that and you're going to see an increase in um, speed. Well, at least I do. Some people could say different. Ah, uh, da da da. Where? So once you get into uh, your terminal, flip it open, type S U, enter, then A, 2 S D, space, H E L P. And let me try to focus in on that. So, A to SD help. Hit enter. All this will populate. And then at, uh, let me try to focus. At the bottom it says more. Hit Y. It'll say rest. Like show the rest of them. Hit yes. Or, sorry. Hit R. And now it pops up with all of them. So here, this is where you guys can convert um, your partition to ext3 or ext4. So there's commands for that. There's also, uh, if you're like running low on memory, you can do like ultimate, extreme, aggressive, strict. And that way um, it just automatically starts killing. Background apps, all foreground, visible, secondary, hidden, content, empty apps. It just starts killing stuff. That way your memory stays high. Definitely works. I like using that. Um, I mean, there's just tons and tons of commands. So, I mean, that's what I was trying to tell you guys earlier is that uh, Dark Trimmer can do a lot more than just apps to SD. These are the other two that I also like doing. Uh, data to SD. I like running that command along with uh, cache to SD. That's another one that I like to run. So you guys can run those, see what you guys think of them. But that's Dark Tremors. Definitely love his uh, his script or scripts since there's a bunch of them. But anyways, so yeah. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyways, new update's going to be coming out soon, so check check for that. Sorry, I'm trying to focus and talk at the same time. But check check for that as, all, as well. Um, other than that, I don't know. I'm definitely really satisfied, satisfied with this ROM. Um, some of the new things to look out for, boot sound, of course, on uh, first boot. Um, I can't really think of. Oh, yeah. Um, Font changer is going to be another one. So you have font changer in there as well. And of course it will be on the newest nightly with the newest Pursuits kernel and all that good stuff. So look out for that guys. Uh, until then, thank you for supporting Mextroid. And uh, just keep wanting to hear feedback from you guys. Alright, adios. Peace.